Hello, hello, hi. Welcome back to another episode of Everything's Rosy. Please like and subscribe because almost 80% of you who watch my videos do not subscribe to my channel. So that's weird. Moving on. It's time to work out. Snacks. Here you go. girl um so we're back and that was pretty hard obviously i was a gymnast so handstands are a little bit easier for me than most people so i have i always have fun when we do that i'm gonna fix these blinds so next thing i actually wanted to test this out this is something i found on the internet because y'all know i do or most of y'all know from following me on instagram that i do hello fresh and HelloFresh usually always sends, um, you know, those those ice packs, and I never know what to do with them. I do use them, you know, put them back in my freezer and reuse them for, like, you know, just regular ice packs for stuff, but you can only have so many of those in your freezer, and I don't like emptying this gel stuff into my trash can. That seems like it's just going to make a mess. Um, and it's really heavy also. It makes your bags really heavy. But number one reason, it's super messy. But I found it online that you can empty this non-toxic stuff in your, uh, in your grass, like, or your ground. So um, I'm just gonna do it in my flower bed because I have some um, flower, I have a lot of flower beds and they could probably use some extra absorbent stuff in there. So, so I think I'm gonna put it out here, my flowers never came in this summer or spring. My, um, oh my gosh, it's so skinny. What are they called? Hydrangeas. Hydrangeas? Hydrangeas. My hydrangeas never came in. They kind, One of them kind of did, but it didn't really. It's never bloomed, so that's kind of sad. Before we get to that, I wanted to update y'all on something else. This is actually where I spend most of my days now since I work from home. So eight to five, this is where I'm at, sitting in here. And then after five, I am doing my store stuff, my running my business. So there you go. But I wanted to give you all some updates on my store. So this week I'm going to order, I'm going to order slash design some, some more um, everything rosy tees. So we'll be looking out for that. And then I'm gonna make one more rose and thorn t-shirt because I know that Y'all like those and yeah, just wanna make y'all happy guys. Just wanna make y'all happy. And then um, and then next week, I'm gonna start ordering stuff for fall. And we've got a bunch of cool colors. I'll show y'all right here. And like right here or something. And show y'all some of my, some of my, on my wish list to buy. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's what we got going on with the store. We did hire a new person. Her name's Abby. Hmm? She's my she's my new key holder. Don't put your feet on this white chair. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing that. And um, that's pretty much the it on the Rose and Thorn update. And so let's uh, do a chore. You ready? First up, we gotta put sun or not sunscreen, freaking insect repellent on. Cause last time I went out here and did like any type of yard work, I got covered in mosquitoes all over me. It's not a cute look. I've got so many freaking wasps out here. So many wasps, and I hate it. Okay, let's see how we do it. So here's the bag. Apparently this is made of the same kind of stuff that's in diapers, and it's non-toxic, so you can put it in your dirt. So just FYI, because I was not happy with putting it in the garbage. It wasn't a good look for me. So let's do it. These are my hydrangeas that never came back. Like that one barely came back. Nope. 
This is the only one that's come back, but look how droopy it is because it's so dehydrated. And I don't know about you, but your girl is cheap, and I'm not going to be paying all this money on water, uh, watering my grass when it's been, you know, 107 degrees outside some days. So, no thank you. So, that's what it looks like. This just really wet, wet part right there um i think i'm just gonna do the rest of what's in that box just to see what it looks like before you know like what it looks like when it dries before i like put this all over my flower bed and it looks like <laughs> like crap all right so we got to this one the one that's like has the most going on with it so i think i could probably empty one two, three, four, five, and six more. If I have six more, I think I probably do. I'm gonna get six more of those things and uh, do that and then freaking make dinner. It's time to eat. You know? Oh, and here's another one of my projects right there. That's a bunch of dead vines. That was all over my fence over there. So that was fun. I have to, I literally have to take care of my lawn in like squadron. Like west side, east side, north side. Gosh. But at least I'm not paying $800 a month plus whatever they charge for taking care of my flower beds. Because not having it. Not doing that. Nope, nope. Look forward to videos about me mowing my lawn. And you know, more videos of me just chopping up. Chopping up and sawing up freaking wood. Gives me an excuse to actually do it, you know? So I can film it. Gives me some initiative to do it. Another update. These little like wasp nests right here. So these are fake wasp nests. And they actually work relatively okay considering we don't have as many wasps like setting up shop here. We have had a lot of wasps get in, the, in my house. Especially Avery's room. So Avery's been like sleeping in my room 24 seven, which is not like abnormal, but you know, when school starts, I'd rather her sleep in her own room. Let's get it finished. Okay, so I finished doing that, obviously. So theoretically, Whenever I water that flower bed, which I do every Monday and Friday, water will be absorbed and it'll be, I don't know, better for the plants, I guess. I'm not sure if I was, I think I was honestly supposed to like mix it up or something in the dirt, but I can't really do that because I do have like invis an invisible fence in my flower bed for, so the dogs don't dig in it. And then I have like, you know, water soakers in there. So I can't really dig around in there too much anymore. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for, like, maybe to put some of that, like, I bet it would be really good for putting it in, like, a potted plant. That would be good stuff to put in there. Just an idea I'd throw out there because I was kind of, it was kind of sad, like, throwing these things away in the garbage. Because you can't really, you're not supposed to pour them down the sink and you're just, like, pour them in the trash. And I'm like, if they're non-toxic, then what are we doing? Anyways, I'm going to take a shower. Y'all can't be here for that, obviously. So, bye-bye. Okay, so this is what's on the menu for today. Some beef flauta supreme. Probably put a, cook a side of rice for this little thing right here because she loves rice and that just goes with it. But I, on the other hand, will just be eating Elise. And it looks like you get three per person. Avery will probably eat like one and I'll eat three. Um, but yeah, I usually always get two meal kits per week and those usually last us Monday through Thursday because on Fridays and the weekend, I usually don't cook and I just kind of like take Avery out to eat or we pick something up. So I'm very non busy on the weekends. That's what I do. Okay, so here are the instructions. Here's all the stuffs. So I need to prep. Okay, step two, make the filling. 
Okay, step three, assemble and bake. Okay, now we gotta bake it at 425. Okay, step four, finish and bake. It looks like I just need to make this pico de gallo, which will be really easy, and then this cream, and I don't have to make it. It's already right here. So, and it's done. I got Avery's stuff right here. She says it smells weird. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I'm gonna get a good side that has all this stuff. This is messy. This is I suspected. Super good. Definitely used a fork. I know I usually use like, usually whenever I eat flautas, I just use my hands, but obviously these aren't fried, so you can't really do that. But 10 out of 10 recommend it. I would say HelloFresh has definitely um, made Avery, or made me make Avery try new things because I did not want her to be a chicken nugget girl for the rest of her life. Even though it's cool, whatever, if she likes chicken nuggets, she's gonna learn to, you know, feed herself appropriately, you know? So definitely helps with kids branching out because they see you eating different stuff and they want to eat different stuff or they'll at least try it. But I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and call it a day over here. Um, we've got, we've gotta get Avery to bed. I've gotta get myself to bed. Make sure to subscribe, people. Like and subscribe. Comment, tell me what you think about um, my HelloFresh experiment out there. I will give y'all updates to see if my if my flowers grow or if my or if those little shrubs over there are doing better. But because they were getting kind of deathly looking too. Like, subscribe. Love you. You know how it goes. At the end of the day, everything's. everything's